Baruchim Haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together on Daf Nun Hey Amid Aleph, two lines from the top. After the Gemara explained, when the Mishnah says that the para of Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah went out with the Ritzua, the Gemara explains it wasn't his para, rather it was his Shechina, his neighbor. And because he didn't protest, therefore it's considered to be his para. He's held responsible. Therefore, the Gemara brings a principle. Anybody who's able to protest and does not do so, he's going to be held responsible for the sins of the person that he didn't protest against. For example, a person, the head of the household, if he doesn't protest against Anshe Beis, so the Gemara says, then he's going to be held responsible because he is the one who can give the protest and be heard. And therefore, he's going to be held accountable for not doing so. Says the Gemara along these lines, explaining this obligation. Rav Yehuda Hava Yosif Kamei Shmuel. Rav Yehuda was sitting in front of his Rabbi Shmuel. Asoi hahi itiso kotzavcho kamei v'lohava mashkoch bo. There was a woman who was screaming that she needed something to be adjudicated. There was an injustice done and she was screaming that out to Shmuel. And Shmuel did not pay attention to her. Omar lei, Rav Yehuda says to Shmuel, Lo sover lei mar oitem oznoi mizakas dal gam hu yikre v'lo yeone. Do you not also hold that the Pasuk is coming to say that not only when it comes to not listening to a poor person, well then that person who, call, who will then call out will not be listened to, but also somebody who is asked to then give a judgment and does not do so, he will also be held accountable. Omar lei, so Shmuel says to his Talmud of Yehuda, Shinana, he called him by the name Shinana, sharp one. Rei shoch bekriri, your head, meaning me, your Rebbe, is in cold water. It's only your head, the head of your head, referring to my own Rebbe, who's in charge, he's in, going to be held accountable in hot water. Because Mar'ukva, behold, is sitting as the Abbezdin, and he's the one who's going to be held accountable because he's in charge. And therefore, it's not my responsibility because I can't do anything. It's only Maruk for the head of the Bezdin. Dirsi, that says in the Posuk, Beis David, Koyamar Hashem, Dinu la boiker mishpot, judge, make an adjudication in the morning, Vehatzilu gozu miad oishek, and save the one who was stolen from, from his oppressor. Penteitze ke'esh chamosi, lest my fire go out. Ube'ero ve'imechabe mi'pnei roya me'alaleim. And will cause them to be burned without being extinguished because of their evil deeds. Says the Gemara, another episode explaining the great responsibility of giving rebuke toichocha. Omar the Rabbi Zeir the Rabbi Simon lo chichinu mar lahani debei reish galusa. Rabbi Zeir says to Rabbi Simon, give toichach, give rebuke to the reish, to the people of the house of reish galusa. They did something that was inappropriate, that was wrong, a misdeed, and therefore you have to give them toichach a rebuke. Omar le, so Rabbi Simon responded lo mekabli minoi. They're not going to then accept my rebuke. Even if you think they're not going to be mekabel, you should give them rebuke. Now take a look at Toysvis on the top of the Amud. Even though they will not accept, you should give rebuke, give toichocha. Hainu hecha de Safik. Toysvis qualifies this and says, that's when there's a doubt whether the rebuke will be helpful or not, will be listened to. However, if you know for certain, 
100%, then it's not going to be received. Hanach lohem, then leave them, meaning don't give rebuke. Because of the following principle, mutav sheyu shoigegin vayu mezidin. Better that they be remaining shoigeg, people who are doing things that are shoigeg, rather than doing them bemezid, being told and then doing the bemezi because they're not receiving and accepting the rebuke. Kidaminan ve'amevi kadiyayin u'mperka shoyel gabe toisefes yom kipurim. So we see the principle is when the rebuke can be accepted and you're not sure whether it will be accepted, one is obligated to give the rebuke. If you know for certain that it's not going to be accepted as toisefes, then one does not need to give rebuke now the halacha is that if indeed it's obvious, it's stated explicitly in the Torah, that's considered to be that you're obligated to then give the rebuke, even though the person may not listen to it. al Koponim, the Gemara says now the following. That this is such a great responsibility that never did Akash Baruch's decree that was a good decree be rescinded except for this matter when a person did not give Toichocha when he was supposed to give the rebuke. It says in the Posuk, Hashem a love. Hashem is speaking to the angel. Avor betoich ha'ir betoich Yerushalayim. Pass through the city, pass through Yerushalayim. Vehisvisa tov al mitzchoyz anoshim ha'nenochim ha'nenochim al kol tohevos anosos besoicho. And place a mark of a tov on the foreheads of those who are groaning and screaming out because of the abominations that were done amongst them. Referring to the tzaddikim. Omar leh HaKadosh Baruch Hu LaGavriel. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Gavriel, Leich urishum al mitzchon shel tzaddikim tov, shel diyoy. Go and put a tov on the forehead of the tzaddikim. A tov of diyo of ink. Shelo yishletu bohem malachai chabolo va'al mitzchon shel troshoim tov shel dam. So that the tzaddikim should not be affected by the malachi chabola and put also a tov, a letter tov on the foreheads of the Rishoim out of blood. So that the malachi chabola should then attack and destroy them. Omro midas hadin lifne akadish boruchu. Midas hadin stood up before akadish boruchu. And tiny the following, What is the difference between these and those? Referring to then the tzaddikim. Why are they different than the rishoyim? Oh my Lord, Baruch said, Halolu tzaddikim gemurim, halolu rishoyim gemurim. The answer is obvious. Those are rishoyim and those are tzaddikim. Omro lefonov, riboyne shal oilom, haya biyodam limchois velomichu. The Midas Hadin stood up and said further, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they had the opportunity to give Toichacha and they didn't give Toichacha. So they're also together now Rishoyim. Oh my law, he said to them, to the, to the Midas Hadin, Golui v'yadua lefonai she'imichu bohem lo yikablu mehem. It's Revealed before me, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to Midas Hadin, that if they would have given Toichacha, it would not have been accepted. Amra lefonav, Ribbon shalom im lefonecha galui. If before you it is revealed, lohem mi galui. But to them, is it revealed? They do not know whether it's going to be received or not. And therefore, their obligation to give Toichacha, if they don't know for certain, that it's not going to be received. V'hainu dichsiv, and that's what's written: Zokein bochor ubesula taf v'noshim tahargu lemashchis. They will be destroyed. V'al kol ish asher alov hatov, and all those men that have the tov, al tigoshu do not approach. Umitoshi 
tochelu and begin with the mikdash, my mikdash, my sanctuary. In other words, kill out all of those rishoyim who have the tov of dioy, uh, sorry, of dam. Vixi, but it says afterwards, vayachelu ba'anoshim hazikenim asher lifnei abayis. The post goes on to say, and then the men, they began with those zikenim that were in front of the bias. Explains the Gemara, Tana Rav Yosef, Al Tikroi Mikudoshi, Ella Mikudoshai. Don't read that you should begin with my sanctuary, but rather with my sanctified ones, referring to the tzaddikim. These are the ones who fulfilled all of the entire Torah from Aleph until Tov. And immediately, it says in the Postgre, There were six men who came from the way of the northern, upper, upper, uppermost gate, that turn northernwards, face northern. Each one had a shattering weapon in his hand. And one of them was wearing badim, referring to Gavriel, with an inkwell of the soifer, of the scribe, by his loins. And they came and they stood by the copper Mizbeach. As the Gemara, the Pesach says the copper Mizbech, that was already hidden by Shlomo HaMelech. Was it already not used by the time of Shlomo HaMelech? Mizbech and Nechoshes Mihava. Omar lohu HaKadosh Baruch Hu hat chilu mimokoim sh'oimim shiru lefonai. Begin, he says to these men, to those who say Shira Lefonai, referring to the Levim. Uman inu Shisha Anoshin. Now the Gemara wants to clarify what are the Shisha Anoshin that we're referring to, who are going to bring destruction. Says the Gemara Am of Chizda, Ketsef, Af, Vecheima, Umashchis, Umeshaber, Umechale. These are various forms of destructors. Fury and anger, wrath and the destroyer, and the one who breaks, and the one who annihilates. All of these are destroyers. Ma'alach echabolo. Umayishna tov, what is the, referring to as the, what is the tov referring to? Amorav tov refers to the beginning of the following words. Techaye. Tov tomus. You shall live in those, it says tov you shall die. Ushmo omar Toma zechus avos. The tov refers to, and the zechus avos will then toma would already be no longer. Rabbi Yochanan Omar tochun zechus avos that he will bring chain. The zechus avos will bring chain. Rabbi Shleikh Omar tov soif chasam eshal kishbaruchu. The tov is the end of akishbaruchu's chasima of his stamp. The Omar Chanina chasam eshal kishbaruchu emes. The word emes is spelled aleph mem tof. Aleph is the first letter of the aleph base. Mem is the immediate, is exactly in the middle of the aleph base, and tof is the end, which is Akash stamp emes. Omar Rabbi Shmua bar Nachmeni elu bnei Adam shekim was hatara kula me aleph vead tof. These are the men who fulfill the mitzvahs and fulfill the Torah me aleph al tof. Ask the Gemara, Me'ema say Thomas Zuchus Ovois. Where do we find that the Zuchus Ovois was Thomas? Like the opinion before that said in the name of Shmuel that Tov refers to Thomas Zuchus Ovois. Amarav, Miyamois Hoshea ben Beri. Rav says it was from the time of Hoshea ben Beri that the Zuchus Ovois desisted, stopped. Shnema says, Agale es Nevulsa le'ene ma'aveho. I will reveal those of the ones who were disgraced of Am Yisrael to those in the eyes of their beloved ones. And there will not be somebody who will save 
I'm Yisrael from my hand, meaning there's no longer Zechus Avos. Now Zechus Avos is the is the merit that in the Midos Toivos and the Koichas Hanevish of this Avos, Klai Yisrael has, they'll be able to then more readily do Tshuva and be misorer. So that longer will they have that. And other, rather than it says, V'ish lo yadi. So the first opinion, which is Rav's opinion, says it desisted, it stopped from the time of Hoshea ben Beri, the Navi Hoshea. Ushmul Omar mimei chazoel. Shmuel says a different opinion. From the time of Chazoel, Shnemar, V'chazoel mo... Melech Aram, he was the he, the king of Aram. Lochas et Yisrael He oppressed Kla Yisrael during all of the days of Yehoachos. The Ksiv and it says in the pasuk, "Vayochan Hashem Oisom." Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave them chain, v'yirachamim, v'yifen aleihem leman brisoi as Avram Yitzchak v'Yaakov, and he turned to the to them in. Zechus of the bris of Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. V'loi ova hashchisom. And he did not destroy them. V'loi hishlichom. And he didn't throw them me'alpon of ad ata. Meaning only until now. Mashma. Afterward, there was no longer this bris and zechus ovois. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Omar. Mimei Eliyahu. From the time of Eliyahu, it stopped the zechus of ovois. Shinema says, V'yihi ba'alois ha'mincho. V'yihi gash Eliyahu ha'novi. It says at the time that the the time of the mincha offering was brought, and Elio approached, and he said, "Vayoimer Hashem Eloke Avram Yitzchak Yaakov Hayoim Yodeya." Today, this day, let it be known, Ki Ata Lokim Bi Yisrael Vani Avdecho, that you are Lokim Bi Yisrael, and I am your servant. Ubidvarcha asisi es kol advar me'ela, and it's in your word that I did all of these things. And therefore, again, the emphasis hayoim yodeya. This day, let it be known. Mashma afterwards, there was no longer the schus of the avos. Rabbi Yochanan Omar, a fourth opinion. Mimechizkiyo. That's when the schus avos no longer was. Shneemar, as it's in the pasuk, lemar behamishra uleshalom en kates, for the increase. Of sovereignty and the peace that would have no end, al kisei David ba'amamlachtoi lohochin oiso lesado to establish it and uphold the mishpat ubitstaka with judgment and righteousness meato viad oilom from now and forever kina shashem svochos taases zois it will be the kina of Hashem the jealousy of Hashem that will then perform this meaning there's not going to be zchus of us only the. Saving because of Kinas Hashem Tzvokos.